This is Tenderleaf's Little Bear's Picnic, and I'm going to show you what it looks like inside of the box right here. So this is what you are getting, the little bear, nice little carrying case. And then if we open this up, you're going to see it just folds back like that. You have your little cloth for the picnic. And this is a nice, pretty straightforward, simple little napkin. I'll go ahead and pop that up. Stitching is good. It's not cheap or anything like that, so that's nice. Looks like all of that's going to be good for kids to play with. And then we've got a little plate here. Oh, right for that, yeah. So that's what you are getting for a plate. Very simple piece of wood. And then we've got all of these accessories. This apple has been destroyed. Got a little apple uh, stem right there that actually rotates. So that's kind of fun. Well, it doesn't rotate, but it just kind of spins around. And then we have the lettuce. So my kids have already had a blast playing with this. They made a little sandwich. They had a little picnic. You can stack all of these things on top of each other. And then I think there's some tomatoes right here. We're also going to do a little bit of milk, chocolate milk. The straw actually goes in the chocolate milk. So that's kind of fun. My kids are absolutely loving the creative play that you can do with this. And then we've got a little strawberry. We got an egg with an actual yolk, which I thought was just great that they actually made that yellow. So that guy can, I guess you could just split this here, right there. And then the top of the sandwich. So that is the whole picnic. You can see he's kind of smiling at us. If we put the little, <laughs> there you go. And uh, it's pretty fun. So the kids like to just be able to, you know, throw it all in the bag really quickly. This would be good for travel. If you just want to bring something with you that you know the kids can just kind of play with. Obviously, there are limitations to this kind of play. Once you've had the picnic a few times, how long are you actually going to continue to do the picnic? This is the kind of thing, at least my experience with our kids, is they'll play with it for a couple of days and then it'll disappear for a while. And then maybe a week or two later, they'll rediscover it and they will play with it again and they'll have another picnic. So you definitely get more than one use out of this and you do get hours of fun. I recommend this kind of style of play. It goes along with a tractor that I did another video with, and I'll probably get some more Tenderleaf stuff just because they're fun little things that work really well from like ages seven to eight months all the way up to like seven years. So definitely recommend these. Let's keep having fun, and I'll see you in the next one.